clean pre-workout, is it right for you? Today we're gonna to talk a little bit more about the form of caffeine in this formula and best practices. Welcome back, it's Mike here. So I created this formula and I'm offering it to people like you, not as an everyday crutch. So I wanna just offer a little caution. You know, a lot of people rely too much on caffeine. You know, there's some people that literally can't go to the gym without having a couple cups of coffee or a pre-workout. Okay, I don't wanna fuel your addiction. I don't want to add fuel to the fire of your sleep disorder, things like that. This is really for that situation, that rare situation where it's, if it's between a clean pre-workout and a $4 cup of coffee, or if you're on the road and you just don't have time, or the coffee situation is, as I call, sketch, right? Hotel coffee, for example. Garbage, you don't want that. So that's where this comes in. Okay, now you might think, oh my gosh, there's, Mike, how much caffeine is really in here? This is not like a red line where there's 250 milligrams. This is not a, you know, five hour energy. Okay, this is, what's unique is it's a, a caffeine co-crystal. So the pharmacokinetics, meaning the absorption characteristics of this particular caffeine form are better so that you don't need to take as much because I don't wanna to contribute to your already probably poor sleep. I just want you to have a little bit of, of a performance boost without compromising any of your long-term progress that you're gonna get from your sleep and your rest, okay? So that's what this is for. I'll just tell you how I use it and how I recommend it for clients. Um, if clients travel a lot, I say, hey, look, just pack a few of these in your bag because I don't want you to spend six, seven bucks on some crappy coffee, okay? That's number one. Number two, um, if, this, if it's this versus, say, a VPX Redline or some of the other pre-workouts that are out there that have 400 milligrams per dose, I want people to titrate off, okay? If you tell an alcoholic who's been drinking 18 beers every night for years, okay, telling them to stop cold turkey might be a little bit cha more challenging. So this is a way to taper off that. Also, uh, for people that are training for events, and let's say they wanna have a really good performance event, because let's just face it, caffeine, it's an ergogenic aid, meaning it enhances sports performance. It enhances mental clarity. It reduces, here's why I like caffeine, because it, it also helps with fat oxidation. Uh, it has to do with um, hormone-sensitive lipase and all the different intracellular switches that are involved in uh, fatty acid oxidation and really enhancing lipolysis, which is the breakdown of stored triglycerides. So, it does a lot in terms of fat oxidation, but here's why I like it. It helps that perceived exertion. So when you're doing an exercise, and if it's a 10 out of 10 RPE, relative perceived exertion, like, like oh my gosh, I can't do another rep. Caffeine helps blunt that pain response to the brain. Some people, and I have some clients, I have some friends who I want them to exercise, but they're like, exercise hurts. Like they're not used to the pain yet. This is where caffeine can help. Oh, why thank you. We're trading. I just got my Petzl uh, night lamp from my daughter. Homeschool, welcome to the new normal. So anyway, uh, caffeine can really help you with that perceived exertion, that relative perceived exertion. And so that's why I like it as well. So if you're new to exercise, if you're sensitive to exercise, if you, if you know you need to push yourself a little bit further, but you have this hypersensitive pain response, caffeine can help in that situation. But let's talk about best practices. Please don't take this at 5 p.m. at night. That's just going to contribute to dis disordered sleep. Now, if it's New Year's Eve and you're gonna go out with your friends, okay, it's a one-time thing, that's fine. You mix it up. In college, I used to make Red Bull vodkas and at two in the morning, all right? So I get it, but I don't want that to be a habit that you, uh, that you make. So I would suggest cutting this off at, at, at no later, don't have this any later than, than two or 3 p.m. Um, so earlier in the day is better, that way you can metabolize the caffeine. Now remember, there's only about 90 milligrams of caffeine in here, but it behaves pharmacokinetically like 250 due to the caffeine co-crystal combination. Really, I don't wanna make it too complex, but a caffeine co-crystal means it's, it's a caffeine blended by this company down in Southern California called Chromadex Biotech. They mix it with a blueberry polyphenol called terostilbene. Terostilbene is related to resveratrol, and all that. So anyway, that's the that enhances the pharmacokinetics. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning all the way in. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of a, a better best use and, and, and idea about how to use this and do's and don'ts. As always, I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. If you enjoy these videos, please hit that like button. Thanks for subscribing. If you have any questions, let us know below. Catch you all soon.